This year's Xbox and Bethesda game showcase delivered on pretty much every front. Not only did we get a fresh look at a bunch of massively anticipated Xbox exclusives like Halo Infinite, Psychonauts 2 and Starfield, but we got a whole new list of incredible looking exclusive games to start getting excited about. And that's what we're talking about today. So here are all of the biggest Xbox exclusive titles that we got to see for the very first time this month. And best of all, every single one of them will be a day one Game Pass edition. Forza Horizon 5's Mexican setting promises to be the biggest and most diverse map that the acclaimed open world racing series has ever seen. Oh, and by the way, it's also by far the most beautiful. Playground have taken a leaf out of Microsoft Flight Simulator's book and used photogrammetry to capture some of the country's more awe-inspiring landscapes, like, you know, the rim of an actual volcano. And they even went so far as to take 12K footage of the skies above to make the game feel as real as possible. Out on the road, there are dynamic weather effects that change according to the season, and back in the Forza Vista garage, the ray trace lighting effects are sure to make your supercar of choice look especially sublime as the light bounces off its hood. They actually rendered the individual needles on each cactus as well, each one individually, because the playground team are clearly the very best kind of determined. And Forza Horizon 5 promises to be much more than just a pretty paint job too. It's packing an expedition mode that has you location scouting across the country, an event lab where you can come up with your own crazy racetracks and minigames, and a multiplayer setup called Forza Link that's sure to turn it into one huge petrol-powered social hub. And best of all, it's going to be racing onto PC and Xbox consoles on November 9th. From the Buffies to the Belmonts, we're always ready to get behind a good vampire slayer, and Redfall is bringing a whole squad along with it. One of them is a girl with telekinetic powers, another is a spooky sniper with a pet raven, and then there's the lady with the robot friend. It's a good group. It all goes down in a sleepy island town that's found itself overrun by a group of scientifically engineered vampires and the human weirdos that worship them. So it's up to you and your band of misfits to return things to normal. From the team that brought you the Dishonored games, you can expect another open world full of branching paths and one that changes according to the choices you make along the way. The big difference this time around is that Redfall allows you to either wander out into the dark alone or team up with a few friends to take on the forces of evil cooperatively. Because remember, friends that slay together, stay together. Right, so it might be over a decade since the last creeper crept up on us, but that doesn't mean it's safe to stop looking over your shoulder, my dudes. Especially not with Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl on the way straight to Xbox Game Pass next April. Set in an alternative history where a second nuclear disaster led to all sorts of awful things arising from the rubble, Stalker 2 walks us back inside the zone for a fresh look at the horrors it contains. And for the first time, players will be free to explore this haunting place thanks to a seamless open world that promises to never let a loading screen get in your way. Other things might, though. With all the time you'll be spending peering around in the dark and relying on flickering lamp lights to survive, the game's new ray tracing effects will be a blessing, while also making the whole thing at least 13% scarier. Yeah, 13%. Trust us, we've done the maths. The Outer Worlds 2 is a game. Or at least it's going to be. Apparently, it's not really anything yet other than a pretty obvious and uninformative title. But it is going to be a game. Eventually. Look, Obsidian basically used their reveal trailer to troll us so we can't actually tell you anything about when the second Outer Worlds game will take place or where or what new features it might include. We're kind of in the dark here. Going from the trailer though, we can tell you that the whip-smart sense of humour that made the first game such a blast is still well and truly intact, and that the game will be launching itself exclusively onto PC and Xbox Series X and S consoles sometime in the future. So that'll have to do. Contraband is another newly revealed game which we just know enough about to start getting wildly excited. Mostly, we know it's a heist game from the developers that brought us the Just Cause series, 
and all of the insane antics that came along with it, so it sounds like a match made in heaven. We also know it will take place in the 70s in the fictional country of Bayan, and it will be released on PC and Xbox Series X and S at some point in the future, and that, like every other game on this very wonderful list, it will be a day one Xbox Game Pass release. Oh, and it's also a co-op game, so you can do crimes together with your friends. That's pretty nice. From the warped, beautiful minds that brought you Limbo comes another eerily gorgeous side-scrolling tale, Somerville. It centers around a rural family who are desperately trying to survive the massive alien invasion which has left the Earth in ruins. While gamers are more than used to seeing what this sort of large-scale catastrophe looks like, they've rarely witnessed it from such an intimate perspective. From the broody colour palette of its handcrafted world to the hefty way everything moves around inside it, Somerville is absolutely dripping with style and atmosphere. There's a good dash of old school Spielbergian sci-fi to it, as well as a drop of something much weirder. And we can't wait to see what's lurking beneath its surface when it arrives next year. But if guiding your family safely through an extraterrestrial apocalypse sounds, you know, a little bit intense, don't blame you, why not take to the slopes and let the stress float away from you like so much powdery snow? Shredders is dedicated to bringing snowboarding onto Xbox in a way that's both realistic and hella fun, with the developers using their own real-life experience to help create a game that's just as satisfying for die-hard snowboarders as it is for total newcomers. The first trailer introduced the pristine mountainsides that you'll be tearing up and gave us a glimpse of what the game looks like in motion, and we have to say, it looks pretty damn good. It's coming exclusively to Xbox Series X and S, so expect a truly next-gen experience when Shredders slides onto Game Pass this December. Perhaps you made it through the early part of E3 and thought, these games all look perfectly good, but none of them seem to let me ranch any slimes. Well, fear no more, my jelly-inclined friend, Slime Rancher 2 is on the way. This time, your slimes will be making the jump to next gen, which should mean you can appreciate their wiggly beauty even better than before. And that's good because you'll be setting sail across the slime sea to meet all kinds of previously undiscovered species. From adorable bunny slimes to water-dwelling angler slimes to bat-like slimes with glowing eyes. Altogether, it looks like a more is more approach, which should guarantee a good time for anyone who's been craving another epic slime adventure. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of some tonal whiplash going on here because this game isn't cute or cuddly or about slimes at all. It's got nothing to do with slime anywhere, in fact, and everything to do with a dystopian version of the 80s where one mega corporation owns everything and regular people are being harvested for their body parts by the wealthy elite. So uh, yeah, just a little bit different. But it's also an absolutely gorgeous side-scrolling game called Replace. The vivid world it has concocted takes inspiration from cyberpunk classic like Blade Runner, creating a shadowy, neon-infused pixel art style which perfectly complements the game's retro future setting. If it plays, honestly, even half as good as it looks, this could be one of next year's best Xbox games. Finally, we've got a brand new game from a studio made up of former Left 4 Dead and Portal talent, exactly the people you want in charge of a cooperative first-person shooter with a polished sci-fi setting and a quippy sense of humour, which is exactly what the Anacrusis is. You play as a group of unlikely heroes who find themselves trapped in the middle of an alien invasion, with a seemingly never-ending horde of aliens coming their way which shouldn't really give them time for cracking jokes or arguing about whether to call the big scary things tanks or brutes, but they somehow manage anyway. You'll get to play with a bunch of wacky, physics-warping weapons that can freeze your enemies in place or suck them across the room. But things get even more mind-bending, the game will change each time you play, mixing up not only things like spawn points and enemy placement, but actually changing how the story beats unfold based on how much of the plot each member of your party has worked through. Which sounds properly futuristic, only in the good, technology has made things cool way, not the corporations are eating our souls and everything is on fire way that we're used to. So, yay! The long and short of it is that the next 12 months or so are going to be an incredible time to be a gamer, an even better time to be an Xbox player, and just a jaw-dropping, mind-blowing, bone-rattling sweet time to be a Game Pass member. 
Shout out your most anticipated titles in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for all the latest on these and many more Xbox titles still to come. Bye-bye.